Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Trendy Spotlight. Number 10. Bill Murray When Chevy Chase came back to SNL to host, he and Murray did not see eye to eye. That's the nice way of saying that the two hated each other so much that they eventually got into a fistfight that the cast and crew had to break up. Chase had left SNL to pursue his movie career and Lauren Michael graciously let him return to host. Chase could not stomach the fact that Murray was the actor chosen to replace him, and Murray was not into the idea of working with someone he replaced. Chase allegedly started to fight when he stormed into Murray's dressing room, insulting Murray and his wife. Number 9. Dan Harmon Chevy Chase seemed like he was ready for a comeback when he joined the cast of Dan Harmon's cult classic Community. Although his character Pierce Hawthorne was a fan favorite, Chase never thought the show was funny. The two butted heads constantly on the set, and eventually their disagreements peaked when Chase quit the show in the middle of shooting its fourth season. Chase left Harmon a series of violent voicemails attacking Harmon's talent as a comedian. When the cast of Community reunited for a virtual table read, Chase was not only absent, but the cast read the script of the episode where he was killed off. Number 8. Pete Davidson Chevy Chase had some harsh words for the current cast of SNL, especially when it came to the line delivery of the show's opening quote, Live from New York, it's Saturday night. Chase claimed to be the one who made that line what it is in an interview with Norm MacDonald. He then went on a mini rant calling the current jokes the worst fucking humor in the world. Davidson responded in kind on the Howard Stern show saying he's a fucking douchebag. Davidson also found Chase's comments disrespectful to Lorne Michaels who practically gave Chase his career. Number 7. Donald Glover Dan Harmon was not the only member of the community family to get scorned by Chevy Chase. Glover had some good back and forths with Chase, as one can see from the show's blooper reels. But when the cameras were not rolling, Chase was unapologetically racist towards Glover. According to Glover, Chase said to him, People only think you're funnier because you're black. This was not the only instance of Chase being racist on the set. Number 6. Yvette Nicole Brown According to both Dal Glover and Yvette Nicole Brown, who played Shirley on Community, Chase was racist to both of them. The two never felt comfortable or safe around Chase, who they alleged would use the N-word constantly in their presence. Number 5. Howard Stern In a 1992 interview with Larry King, Chevy Chase made the mistake of thinking that just because the cameras were off that the microphone was off too. There is an old saying, treat every microphone like it was a live microphone. Chase never heard that saying because he was caught on a hot mic dissing radio host Howard Stern. After Stern played the tape on his show, the two began an on and off again feud. The feud tempered when Chase was invited to Stern's wedding, then it started again when Chase made an inappropriate speech. Number 4. Robert Downey Jr. Despite the blows he exchanged with Murray, Chase was invited back to SNL again in 1985 when Robert Downey Jr. was a cast member. Chase dissed RDJ's father, Robert Downey, mocking his career and saying things like, Didn't your father used to be a successful director? The final straw was when Chase told RDJ that his father went straight to hell. Number 3. Kevin Smith Smith came close to collaborating with Chevy Chase on a reboot of Chase's popular film Fletch, which could have been Chase's redemption and comeback vehicle. All that went to hell after Smith backed out of the project and made it clear that he would never even consider working with Chase again. According to Smith, Chase's arrogance and self-congratulatory behavior just went on and on until Smith couldn't stand it anymore. In a way, Smith got lucky, at least he didn't get into a fistfight with Chase or hear Chase insult his father. Number 2. Will Ferrell Ferrell is on record calling Chase misogynist, demeaning, self-centered, and sexist when he hosted SNL, but the two have crossed paths because they roll in similar circles as SNL alum 
Farrell witnessed Chase behave crudely toward a female writer who Chase allegedly barraged with inappropriate remarks and unwelcome advances. Number 1. The Season 1 Cast of SNL One might have noticed a pattern in Chase's feuds. He tends to burn bridges with his bosses and his castmates. No one has been more isolated from Chase than his fellow castmates from the debut season of SNL. Former castmates like Jane Curtin have made it clear that she and Chase were never close despite frequently working together on sketches. Late cast member John Belushi could not stand Chase's ego and negativity, and the two went back and forth from being friends to being rivals until the day of Belushi's death. He also was described by the former cast and crew as a put-down artist who constantly preyed on his co-workers' insecurities. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.